How's it going guys, Luke here. And today's video, I really just, I wanted to get some things off my chest. Um, I've been seeing a lot of my friends who are also content creators. Uh, they have been vehemently expressing their dissatisfaction with Modern Warfare 2 and just how incomplete and dare I say damaged of a game it is. And I feel the same way. And I just wanted to get some of these things off my chest, express some issues that have been going on with the game and how they can be fixed. I think that when Modern Warfare 2 was announced, I was very excited because the OG Modern Warfare 2 is actually my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. You know, my, look, I'm not one of those that believes that you have to be playing a game or doing something thing for a long time in order to have a valid opinion or really know what you're talking about. You can have an opinion really about anything. Some opinions can be dumber than others, but you know it when you see it, how good or bad or how inconsistent something may be. You don't need to be playing it for a long time. But for me, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2. That game was released back in 2005, 2006. So that's how old I am. And I've seen Call of Duty evolve and change, and I've seen the good, I've seen the bad, and with Modern Warfare 2, I can honestly say it is probably one of the worst Call of Duties that I've ever played. Uh, I just, you know, when you think of games like COD 4, the original Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 2, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, you know, Modern Warfare 2019, even though that game wasn't all that great either. There have been so many better games than Modern Warfare 2, and it's a, a bit of a shame because this game still has a lot of potential, but I still feel like I'm playing a beta, I or an alpha, really. I'm not playing a complete game. So I put together a list, and my boy Silent reference a couple of these things that we were talking about between each other. So if you haven't checked out his channel, be sure to check out his. I'll link it in the description below. And before we get into the list, I just want to say off the rip, these are in no particular order. Some things are more important or more urgent to take care of than others. So the first one I don't think is at all going to happen, but it is something to take into the next Call of Duty because I think it's just a little too late for this. It's to remake the UI. This is one of the worst UIs I've ever seen in a video game, not just a Call of Duty game. The second thing is something that they will not do, but we can only hope, and that is lower the skill-based matchmaking to a reasonable level. I do believe that skill-based matchmaking does need to be in a game like Call of Duty, but where they have it now, I'm, I'm gonna expand on this a little bit. A lot of people think that you need to have a 2KD or a 3KD or a 4KD to be severely affected by skill-based matchmaking, when that's not really the case. Even if you have a 1KD or a 1.1, 1.2, you are going to be heavily impacted by skill-based matchmaking where you may end up with teammates that are just not very good and you're probably going to go up against players that are just you know, trying to sweat with the best guns in the game all the time. So yes, you don't need to be that great of a player in order to be affected by skill-based matchmaking. It affects everyone and it really doesn't help where it is now. I do think it needs to be toned down a little bit, but they're never going to do that, but we can only hope. The third thing is improve the movement. Get rid of the ADS while jumping penalty. Make drop shotting quicker, return bunny hopping, I would love to see that. Make the sliding mechanic, not slide canceling, I'm going to get to that in a bit, but make the sliding mechanic like how it was in Modern Warfare 2019. That's how good it was. And I would also make sprint out times and strafing speeds better. Back in the OG CODs, those things were great. Not so much in the modern era, but going into slide canceling, I personally would like to see it be brought back. I don't have a problem with it not being in the game anymore, but I would make it how it is in Vanguard. I know a lot of people don't like that game. I don't think Vanguard is that bad of a game, but what they did do right with slide canceling was they kept it around, but made it so it would not refill your tax sprint. I think that's a good way of balancing slide canceling, and that's why I would like to see it back. Another thing is give us more and better maps. I feel like this is probably the number one problem that they can solve easily right now with Modern Warfare 2 because we just have a limited number of maps. And again, it still feels like we're playing a beta, right? It still feels like we're playing half the maps that we played in the beta. And it, it's getting a little bit, a little bit tiresome, too repetitive, a little bit boring. And I would also 
give us maps that make SMGs a little bit more useful because SMGs, while they can still be fun, are not that great right now with some of the maps uh, that we have, especially with how the movement has been drastically nerfed. And see if they can bring back museums somehow. I doubt they can, but I would remove this perk system. The charging of perk systems, or of perks, I should say, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. It doesn't really add anything. And I will say that if they keep this perk system, at least return the charge times to how they were in the second weekend of the beta. In the first weekend, they were around eight minutes. Second weekend of the beta, they lowered it to three and a half minutes for charge times of perks. Now it's back up to around seven minutes. So it's closer to where it was in beta one, where everyone was complaining about it. And then when beta two, it was much better. I don't know why they changed that, but it is what it is. And if the current perk system stays, move Ghost and Quick Fix to the tier two slots. I think that's where they should be. And also as a way to balance Ghost, Ghost should only work if you are moving. That's how they have balanced Ghost before. They should continue to do that. And this is a big one for, I'm sure a lot of us make the footsteps much quieter or add dead silence as a perk if they can't find a way to balance the loudness or the volume if you will of footsteps between war zone and multiplayer give us an option to have dead silence as a perk in multiplayer maybe not so much in war zone they have been able to do that in the past where they have a perk in multiplayer but not in war zone just do that but if dead silence stays as a field upgrade Remove the stupid device animation and sound, it doesn't make any sense, and also bring back the movement speed from Modern Warfare 2019. That was a nice bonus of having dead silence as a field upgrade. A big thing for me, get rid of the ledge hanging. It doesn't add anything, it's just an annoyance at this point, or at least give me the option to turn it off in the settings. Remove staged reload, bring back reload canceling. Again, I think that's just something like a lot of things on, on this list that I've mentioned already. It's a way of punishing better than average players. Make certain equipment and kill streaks not slow down your sprinting or tactical sprinting. You guys ever notice when you're calling in a UAV and it slows you down a little bit? I don't know why that's a thing. Just get rid of it. Keep improving the stability and optimize the game. This is a very poorly optimized game, especially if you play on PC like I do. I would lower the brightness of the sun and hydroelectric and on embassy you know that was a problem in vanguard they fixed it and they have yet to do that in this game bomb squad should protect from rpg and explosive non-direct hits and it should also not have a stunning effect where if you get hit with a grenade it slows you down again that just doesn't really do anything if anything it's just another annoyance nerf the marksman rifles and the 74u we're, what, four months into the game now, and that still hasn't really happened to the perfect degree, or I should say a good enough degree. Make Battle Harden greatly reduce stuns and flashes more so than it does. It Again, it just barely it just barely works. Nerf the flashbangs if they don't do that. That would be a good thing. If you use Overkill and you, and you equip it, you do not get a Tier 3 perk, or the second primary should not allowed to have any attachments and that does not include the riot shield that is a good way to balance overkill bring back classic red dots on the minimap i'm okay with it not being in search in fact i think i would prefer to not be in search but with respawn it's a great way to create a better flow of the game to make sure that everyone is just exploring the map and seeking out gunfights when i played when classic red dots on the minimap were going on i wasn't chasing red dots i was chasing areas to see if i can find enemies it creates a better flow they should bring it back make it so that the marksman rifles and the snipers have more flinch than they do now they barely have any flinch bring back actual hardcore mode i have friends who play nothing but hardcore and i play with them and tier one is not hardcore tier one is realism mode it's absolute dog shit hardcore mode needs to be brought back bring back some wall banging you know it, <laughs> there's barely any walls that you can penetrate with bullets in modern warfare 2 you know it just again it's it's another fun thing to do just bring just add a little bit more wall bang for some of those that like to use fmj make it so that the ads speed isn't hurt so much by using so many attachments we have a lot of attachments in this game that drastically reduce ads speed it really shouldn't be like that. It doesn't really add a whole lot of variety to weapons. 
greatly reduce the visual recoil of some weapons. For example, the M4 still has a lot of visual recoil. It, nobody likes the, the constant seeing of your gun bouncing. It Again, stop sacrificing good core gameplay for realism. Call of Duty is an arcade shooter, we all know that. Put in advanced stats for weapons, attachments, and tuning. If Vanguard and Cold War can do it, Modern Warfare 2 can do it. Bring back specialist bonus. This goes back to the perk system where I don't see how they can put in specialist bonus with the way the perk system is now, but that's why I would like to see them change it to where there isn't a charging system for it and bring back specialists. Have less smoke from guns, destructibles, and other things. Improve the thermal sights. The thermal sights in this game are absolute dog shit. Make changes and improve the ways that we can mute lobbies, mute our teammates, mute the enemies, you know, before, like, what was it, Season 1 Reloaded or something like that, where you can press on one button to mute the whole lobby, now you gotta press on three buttons to mute the whole lobby, doesn't make any sense. Remove Border Crossing from the map pool. No one likes it, it's a terrible map, there's always going to be bad maps that, that every Call of Duty has, and there's also been times where the devs have removed a map that nobody likes. This is a great example of it. Speaking of maps as well, bring back map voting. I don't think they're going to do that, but that would be nice to see. And again, this speaks to the whole development of Call of Duty in general. Try to find a way to separate game development from Warzone and multiplayer. Again, I don't think they can do that in a short amount of time, but that is something that they can focus on in the future and make a, an actual working, fully developed streamer mode. I don't stream, but a lot of my friends who are content creators who do stream, they want that in. A lot of games have been able to figure it out. Call of Duty can too. Remove the last stand and survivor perk. Make the time to kill a little bit more consistent between when you shoot an enemy and when an enemy shoots you. Improve the Orion camo and make the solid color camos. Look how they used to before they nerfed them into the ground. That's not going to stop people from buying things in the shop. It just won't. Bring back enemy nameplates. Uh, again, something that nobody asked for that didn't affect the game and now it seems like we we take it for granted now, now that it's gone. Make it so that weapon leveling was how it was back in the beta. It was nice and consistent. Stop disbanding lobbies. Bring back party games. Why don't we have gunfight or, or one in the chamber or prop hunt in this game? Uh, make the sniper glint a little bit better. There's certain sites that just have a little bit too much sniper glint. I don't know why. And lastly, this is just a small thing for me as a search and destroy player. Let us have two stims at the start of each round. Very, 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 very small thing, but something I decided to throw in there. But yeah, that's the whole list that I compiled. And I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like this list? Would you add anything? Would you change anything? Because right now, Modern Warfare 2 does need a lot of help and it's just not that enjoyable of a game to play. I will continue to play it because I'm a Call of Duty nerd. I love the franchise, but I wanna see it be as good as it possibly can be. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.